you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Patience. To my existing subscribers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. In today's video, I am going to be trying out the new Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I picked this up during the most recent Sephora VIB sale and I was very intentional with this purchase. As you guys know, I like to airbrush my foundation during the spring and summer months. I have used the MAC Face and Body Foundation in my airbrush gun and it works really, really well. And I had heard that the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation also works well as an airbrushed foundation so I wanted to try that out for myself so I went ahead and picked this up and I am going to be using my Tim to air as usual to apply this foundation so if you guys would like to see how I am going to be applying this foundation using my Tim to air then keep watching my eyes are already done I use the transition palette from Dominique Cosmetics for my eye look today and I have already prepped my face I did some color correcting using my Tatcha Pearl under my eye and the Kevin Aquan sensual skin enhancer around my mouth so I'm gonna move forward with my concealing and I'm gonna use this El Maquillage concealer this concealer is in the shade 10 I'm gonna highlight and conceal all the areas that you would normally want to highlight and or conceal Concealer is done. I'm now using my MAC Studio Fix Foundation Stick. It's in the shade NW50, and I'm using this to do some cream contouring. Well, you guys, this whole time I thought that I was recording as I was applying this liquid highlighter. I guess I was not, so let me bring you guys up to speed. I'm using the Liquid Illuminator from Iconic London. It's a liquid highlighter, so you can see that there. I like to apply this before I apply my foundation. You guys know how I do this. I like to apply my foundation on top of all of my other complexion products. And I just used this brush and I went in in a C type motion and I blended in this highlighter. I also took a little bit down the bridge of the nose here towards the tip of the nose. I also hit the cupid's bow and did just a little bit right here on the chin. So that's giving us our highlight. I am going to be airbrushing my complexion so it's all good. This is perfect for airbrushing the complexion because the foundation is going to be laid on top and it's going to look very very natural. And for my complexion today I am using the Dior Face and Body Foundation and I am also using my Tim to Air. I am going to be airbrushing on the Dior Face and Body Foundation. You guys have seen me airbrush my complexion before and I was really really pleased to find that the Dior Face and Body Foundation also works in this airbrush gun. You guys have seen me use the Tim2 foundation. You've also seen me use the MAC face and body in this Tim2 air. So yeah, we're switching it up and we're going to use this Dior today. And I've been testing out some other complexion products and I was pleased to find that there is another very popular complexion product right now that also works well in this air gun. So you guys will be seeing that here shortly. But for today, we're going to use the Dior and yeah, we're going to get this foundation on. I'm going to use my sponge just to gently go over this and make sure 
that everything is looking pretty even. Airbrushing is very forgiving as long as you catch whatever it is that you need to perfect before it dries down. My highlight is coming in very nicely. I normally have to hit around my mouth area just a little bit more because I've got some hyperpigmentation there. So I just wanna work on this a little bit. Foundation is done. To set my under eye area, I am going to be using my Pat McGrath under eye powder. I really like this powder a lot. And for my entire face, I am going to be using my RCMA No Color Powder. If I had the Dior powder, I would be using that, but I don't have it yet. And mind you, I did say yet. But this is a beautiful under eye setting powder love this powder and just in case you were wondering since i did apply my highlighter underneath my foundation and now i'm coming back and setting it with a powder since this is a translucent setting powder you can still see how that highlight is still there it's just right up under the skin very very nice very subtle very soft eyes are set Face is set. And before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to add a little blush, and I am going to be using this blush palette. This is from Sephora. I picked this up a little while ago. This is Sephora's Spice Market palette. So I'm going to use these two colors right here for my blush. Dip into both of these and just gently apply a little bit of blush. I have not yet ordered my Pat McGrath blush just yet, you guys. I know. Don't say nothing. I know. And I think it's mainly because I'm still working on my beauty space and there's just all kind of stuff going on. But you know I'm gonna be getting that blush and the highlighter and the quad. So it's coming. I'm gonna do a little bronzing and I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the shade three, just a little bit. It is now time for lips, and I'm going to line my lips with this lip pencil from MAC. It's in the shade Cork. And then I am going to use this lipstick from Juvia's Place. It's in the shade Lady. And I finally got my hands on this lipstick. This was so hard for me to find. It was always out of stock at Ulta. And I finally went to the Juvia's Place website and I was able to find it there. I watched Brown Brows. I believe that's the name of her channel. Brown Brows is a content creator here on YouTube. She does some really gorgeous looks, but this is a lipstick that I saw her use and I thought I've got to have that. So I finally got my hands on it. So I'm going to be using this for my lips today. And this look is done. The Dior Backstage face and body foundation really and truly does give me another option when it comes to a foundation that I can use in my airbrush gun. I always say having an airbrush gun is just another tool to add to your makeup tool belt. It gives you another option in terms of makeup application and the airbrush applies the foundation in a pixelated fashion which makes it go on very very smoothly. There is a reason why complexion products claim that it has an airbrushed look because there is a benefit to actually applying your makeup using an airbrush. 
I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.